the stories that you are about to hear tonight are real. I know it sounds like Mission Impossible, but they are real. These are stories of real people doing real things, but they're everyday heroes, and they've taken difficult circumstances and not only made the best of them, they're helping other people every day. Those of you who have been around me a while know that I say it just about every other day, but teaching is in our soul. So on December 15th, 2015, Derek's life changed forever. And he's here tonight to share his story with all of us and also how important uh, our role is in training tomorrow's healthcare leaders. So after three hours in freezing temperatures with two broken femurs, a broken scapula, five broken ribs, jet fuel chemically burning him, but maybe worst of all, uh, that his friends are no longer with him. Derek uses a light on his phone to signal a DPS helicopter. A second air rescue crew is in flight, but unable to land. So they're a mile down the mountain dropping off their rescuers that are trying to hike up to Derek. He wakes up in the Black Hawk to, you're alive. We're taking you to Maricopa. Did you think that you might not ever be found? There was a time, you know, when one hour, one hour became two and the two became three, you know, kind of was wondering about where the rescue was coming and they didn't realize we were missing until for three hours. So it, it got pretty, uh, pretty scary. Because MIHS has such a wide range in its teaching opportunities, no matter who you go and see in the city, just ask them if they ever did a rotation at Maricopa or ask them if they ever did any of their training at Maricopa and virtually all of them say yes. That was my main goal. You know, whatever it's gonna take me to get to county, that's, that's where I wanted to be. I figure I had some time on my hands, you know, going between surgeries. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> so I just, I just went back to school, and that was my goal, and it's all worth it in the end, you know, to be where I'm at. People ask me, you know, how how do you get through these things? You know, what what makes you want to keep going? Um, and really, it comes down to a choice. I choose to make a good life. I choose to be a good person. I choose to be a good nurse, and that's. Like that's my mission in life. And being a part of MIHS, that's our mission too. We, ch we choose to do good for good people who can't help themselves. Me giving back to them, because then I earn the right to be alive by giving back to them. So on behalf of them, my friends, thank you.